Oh! Ooh. Now this is something I've never tried before from Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh. It's so pretty. Hi guys, Re here from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel and a video I am so, so excited to film. I am unboxing something that I have been sent in PR by one of my favourite brands of all time. In fact, scratch that. It's actually two of my favourite brands of all time. I'm so, so excited and grateful to have been sent this stuff in PR. And it is a box of magic from none other than Charlotte Tilbury, darling. I honestly can't quite convey how excited I am about this. Since I've discovered Charlotte Tilbury makeup, I have been obsessed. Obsessed, I tell you. And I love their makeup so much. It's actually given me the confidence. I used to use filters when I was doing my Instagram stories. And you know what? Since discovering the Charlotte Tilbury stuff, I don't even do that anymore. So we're gonna unbox this together. I say it's not just one, Charlotte Tilbury, but two of my favorite bands because Charlotte Tilbury has collaborated with Disney to celebrate the Disney 100 years of magic. If you have not seen the marketing behind this collaboration, it is simply stunning. They have also got some really great resources on their website and tutorials where they have reimagined makeup looks for various Disney characters. Now I understand inside this box are some bits and pieces to recreate the Cinderella timeless dreamer look. Oh, let's get started and have a look. Oh, the packaging is just so pretty. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna start with one of my favorite Charlotte Tilbury products anyway, which is Magic Cream. If you've um, heard me chatting in my vlogs and things day to day, you'll know I've got really dry skin. In fact, my skin is just quite lizard-like, it's so dry. And the Magic Cream, it's such a lovely, nourishing, thick cream for your skin. And also it acts as a really great makeup primer base for your skin. Now the story behind this is Charlotte Tilbury, the makeup artist backstage, and she needed something for all the models she was working on to rehydrate their skin, they were already dehydrated, rushing from show to show, having makeup taken on, taken off, and she created this herself. This was her magical product, and the models backstage in all these big fashion shows were like, Charlotte, what is that magic cream? I need some of it, and that's where the whole Charlotte Tilbury line was born, apparently. So the packaging on this is the magic cream, which is the, the cream that is just oh so popular, put together with the Disney 100, look at that, with the Tinkerbell on the top. Let's open this up. Limited edition, collector's edition, award-winning magic cream is magic skin. Ooh. It's so pretty. Oh guys, wow. Do you know how gorgeous that is? With Tinkerbell on the top, now, if you're new here, and in fact, hi, let me know if you are new around here, if this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, or if you've watched videos on my main channel before, or if you found me from over on my Mummy of Four Does Disney channel, because obviously we love Disney and our family love Disney trips. So the fact that this has got magical Tinkerbell on the top is just everything. Do you know what, though? I think the best thing about this product is it's refillable. So this gorgeous jar, once it is empty then what you can do is you can pop out this little inner plastic bit here and you refill them with this um wasn't gifted this was something i already had because i already use and love magic cream every day as you can see and all you do when you have finished is you can pop out that inner plastic bit slot that one in and then you get to keep the beautiful jar so just to show you comparing Mine's kind of covered in fingerprints. So the, the traditional Charlotte Tilbury magic cream. Do you know what? We need to wipe that. That's disgusting. Ooh, wiping it in my skirt. There we go. That's a bit less smeary. The traditional Charlotte magic cream has got the Charlotte Tilbury logo on the top and it's just, it's still a very beautiful jar, but compared to this, and this one, hang on, mine doesn't say magic cream is magic skin on the jar. The actual base of the jar has got something slightly different on the Disney collab, but it's the lid. 
The lid says Disney 100 times Charlotte Tilbury and the lid. The lid is everything. So this used to live inside my dressing table. This is going to live on top of my dressing table. And after you've used it up, you can you could you could just keep the jar. It's just gorgeous. But luckily, this is a collector's item. So if you are going to get something from the collection and if you're thinking about trying magic cream and you love Disney, now's the time. So the next items are three items we're going to pull out together to take a look at from the Disney and Charlotte Tilbury collection, which are these beauty light wands. Now I'm a huge fan of these anyway. I absolutely love these. I have a number of them. So pink is the internet sensation, sellout, totally viral version of Pink Gasm. Obviously they decided to take the Gasm bit out for the Disney collab. That is a cheek blush and highlighter. It's a blush lighter because it is a blush, but it is also a highlighting product. Then we've got Spotlight and Gold. Do you know what? I think the best thing to do, we're gonna have to take them out of the box. Oh, I don't wanna spoil it, it's so pretty. Oh, do you know what? If I take them out from the bottom, <laughs> you're supposed to rip the top to open it, but if I take it out from the bottom, I don't have to spoil the box. Oh, look, sneaky. Oh, look at that. So it's the Pink Gasm Blush, but with Tinkerbell and in the new shade of pink, which apparently is exactly the same shade as Pink Gasm, just renamed and branded with Tink for this collab. In fact, I've even got Tink on my watch strap today. Look, look guys, can you see that? I've got Tink and all you need is Face Trust and Pixie Dust on my watch. See, I've even got Tinkerbell on the watch. She is magical. Okay, so that's Pink Gasm. Sorry, Pink, no Gasm. Let's get these out and then we'll swatch them. So this is Spotlight. Ooh, try not to spoil the box. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. And I've tried that before. I had both of those in little minis in a kit at Christmas time. Now the one I've never tried before is the gold. So we shall swatch these in a second. This is the gold. This is the one I've never tried before. So I have got some makeup on. In fact, uh, before I started filming, I applied some of my own magic cream, some of Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation, Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Concealer, a little bit of Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, and I have got some Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Lip Liner and the Pillow Talk Airbrush Lip Blur on my lips. But I haven't got anything on my cheeks. I haven't powdered my cheeks because I was hoping that these were gonna be in the box and we could play with them. So this is the packaging. It is a twist top and all you do is you just squeeze, you get the tiniest amount of product out and then that's the pink gasm. Now all you do, and you need the tiniest amount, tiny, tiny amount, is just apply it to the cheeks like so. And I just like to use a fluffy brush to dab it in like that. There we go. So that's what Charlotte says. She says, beautiful before, beautiful after. See, that's just, you can see it's really sheeny and it's just quite natural. I better do the other side just so we match. You can apply it straight onto a brush if you prefer. You could dab it in with a sponge. This is just how I like to do it. Oh, knocking everything over. So that is the Beauty Light Wand in pink and applied on the cheeks. Now the next one, we're gonna, we're gonna try both of these on my arm, decide which one to pop on my face. So this is the Spotlight, which as you can see, just twist it, squeeze the tiniest amount, and then it's really important you clunk it closed again, otherwise it will go all yucky all over your makeup bag. That is the Spotlight, which I'm quite pale at the moment. That's probably gonna be the one for me. I'm guessing the gold's gonna be a bit dark, it's probably for people with a slightly deeper skin tone or me if I've perhaps got a tan, which I currently do not have. This is the gold. Oh, it's so pretty though. So, right, which one shall we use? This is, here we've got, I've done this on totally the wrong bit of my arm, haven't I? <laughs> so we're here, we've got pink, spotlight and gold. I think, I think I'm gonna go with spotlight for my cheeks. Let's just pin my fringe back out of the way to get this done. Ooh. Oh, thinking about it, the other makeup I did put on earlier, I did put on some mascara, which I used the Legendary Lashes. Okay, so again, just dab. You have to work quite quickly because it will set. Sometimes I just do one side at a time. And again, you can dab it in, you can dab it in with your fingers, you can dab it in with a brush, you can dab it in with a beauty sponge. And then we can see we've got 
the spotlight and the pink in VT Light ones. Oh, okay, let's move on to see which other goodies we've got in this box to unbox. Oh, you can go over here, you're so pretty. I'm literally knocking everything over. Okay, so next in the box we have got, oh, so many lovely things. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Lip Pencil in Iconic Nude. Now, I actually already have one of these on the go because this is one of my favorite shades. So this is the pencil, this is how it looks when it's brand new. And let's have a look for mine. You can see mine is uh, a little shorter and a little well loved, but that is the pencil. And if I just swatch that, I'm just gonna swatch mine. They're exactly the same color because but just rather than using the new one, that is the Lip Cheat and Iconic Nude. Now these are lovely to just outline your lips and then just use like a little lip oil, lip balm and pat out or to use with your favorite lipstick. But these are without a shadow of doubt the best lip pencils I have ever used. My two favorites being Pillow Talk, look how tiny that one is, I've used it so much, it's like a stump. And, Let's see if I've got a longer version of this one. Ah, here we go. This is the this is the Pillow Talk one that I have already got on my lips. So if I just compare that with the Iconic Nude. So this one's Pillow Talk, which is the one everyone raves about. And this one here is Iconic Nude, which was in the package today. But as you can see, I, the Pillow Talk one I've used a lot. Iconic Nude I also love, so thank you. Ooh, now this is something I've never tried before from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the classic eye pencil in classic brown. I go through phases of eye pencils and I have not been in an eye pencil era for quite some time. However, maybe it's time for all that to change. So my, this is the, just pressed a bit hard on that, eye pencil in classic brown. Shall we go for it, applying a bit of eye pencil? Okay, let's just pop that on my waterline. How's that? It feels very nice. Now I'm, I need to have a real play with all this stuff when I haven't actually got any makeup on at all. Um, so far, first impressions of this, I'm liking it. What I need to do is wear it a little bit and feed back on my thoughts, but actually that's a really good color for me. My hair is very, very dark, my eyes are very, very dark, but that classic brown is probably a bit softer than a black that I used to go for years ago. Ooh, next. Now I have tried this product, but I haven't got one of them because I've only tried the little tester sample sizes. Often if you are ordered with Charlotte Tilbury, she'll have like free gifts, free samples. You can normally choose two to add to your basket. And those are generally at the bottom of your basket. You need to make sure you do it if you're ordering with Charlotte Tilbury. I will put all the links for everything I'm mentioning down in the description. There's always a blog post with all of my videos um, sharing all of the stuff, either the stuff that came in the PR package, the stuff that um, I've bought myself. Just everything I mention in a video is always in a um, blog post. But if you are ordering from Charlotte Tilbury, make sure you choose your free gift. I often choose the little tiny Pillow Talk mascaras because I think they're perfect for your handbag. So it's nice to try it as a sample, but also it's a really good size for taking out and about when you don't want to take a full size product. So this is the T Lift Up 24 Hour Effect. 93% agree it gives lashes a voluminous definition. Now, obviously I've already got mascara on. I am currently wearing this one, which is the Legendary Lashes. Shall we compare with the Pillow Talk? What I need to do is a full face of all this stuff. I'm actually going, it's quite rare for me, out, as in out, out, quite soon, for a little night out of some food and drinks with friends, child free, husband free, leaving them at home. Not something I do much, but lots of fun. So maybe I should film a little get ready with me full face. Oh wow, the packaging on this is just stunning, look at that. So this is the push up lashes, in pillow talk push up lashes, but in the color super black. Um, and we're gonna compare that to black vinyl in Charlotte Tilbury legendary lashes, which I currently have on my eyelashes. So the Pillow Talk wand, I haven't seen a big one of these. So the shape on it's kind of curved, so you can get all of the lashes. It's got thicker element in the middle of the brush where your lashes are thicker, and then it is thinner at the end where you need to get the teeny tiny lashes. The Legendary Lashes is a much more like a bushier brush, a bushy brush. Um, so if you want to compare, if you're thinking which Charlotte Tilbury mascara to go for, the brushes are a totally different shape. So this seems like it would have more precision. This is more for volume. Next, ooh, next we have got, oh, oh, 
Thank you, Charlotte. I go through this so, so much. This is Charlotte's Pillow Talk lipstick. It's a matte revolution lipstick. It's not the one I'm wearing at the moment. The one I'm wearing is Pillow Talk, but it's a different Pillow Talk product. So the one I'm wearing right now is Charlotte's Airbrush. Let me get this right. Airbrush Lip Bill and Pillow. Nope. Airbrush Lip Blurring Pillow Talk. That's a tongue twister. So that's what I've got on my lips at the moment. Just kind of tapped on. You can wear it bold or wear it blurred. I've kind of tapped it on to wear it blurred with the Pillow Talk Lip Liner. Now this is the original Pillow Talk Matte Revolution lipstick, which we shall open up now. These lipsticks are just stunning. Look at that. And this color is, it's marketed as, and it's just true, suits everybody. There is a deeper version, so there's Pillow Talk Medium, and I think Pillow Talk Deep, which are obviously too dark for me because I'm, I have very pale skin. But this, and the, look at it, look how gorgeous it is. Now mine doesn't look like that anymore. Should we have a look at what mine looks like? Let's see what sort of mess I've made of mine, shall we? See, my Pillow Talk still looks lovely on the outside, but I've done that to it. Why can't I keep it nice like that? Look. <laughs> so I use mine all the time. I'm just going to swatch that there, the one I've already mucked. That is Pillow Talk. And it's gorgeous. I love it. And seriously, look how gorgeous the Charlotte Tilbury packaging is. It's so bougie. It's so luxurious. It really makes putting on your makeup just an absolute joy. And it all looks so stunning on your makeup table, in your makeup bag. Just, I just love it. Can you tell I'm obsessed? What's next? Oh, I'm so pleased. I really wanted to try this one. This is the Collagen Lip Bath in Refresh Rose. And I have had this in my basket. I'm in an R ring over whether to buy this so many times. So this is oh, stunning. Look, I have got this in the Pillow Talk, which is in my handbag, I believe. I think it was in like a little kit. It was a mini one that I had at Christmas time. This is so, it is pinky, but it's almost sheer, can you see? So it is pinky. This Dofa applicator is lovely to apply directly to your lips, but do you know what I don't like doing? I don't like, when it's a really lovely pale lip gloss like this, I don't like applying it directly onto lips over the top of a darker color because I'm worried that I'll contaminate it and put it back in. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put some of this, because it's gorgeous and I wanna keep it gorgeous, onto my hand like that and I'm gonna apply it with a lip brush so I can keep that clean and lovely. With my Pillow Talk one, I'm putting Pillow Talk over Pillow Talk and I just don't mind dunking it back in. But this gorgeous cleary rose color, I'm actually gonna just put this over the top of what I'm already wearing just to, it has got a tingle to it, but it's more like very minty kind of tingling than it is a painful tingle. Does that make sense? So I've just put the tiniest bit a bit more actually let's let's go for it shall we a bit more and that is over the top of my airbrush lip blur so i love that in upcoming vlogs make sure you subscribe with bell notifications on i will pop on some of this stuff oh, i like that tingle it's nice actually mm, is it making my lips plump <laughs> um in upcoming vlogs i will make sure to um try out some of these with different combinations, you know, so to try out the Iconic Nude with the Pillow Talk, because I wouldn't normally think to put those two together. I'd normally put Pillow Talk with Pillow Talk and Iconic Nude with something else. So I will make sure to try those out together. We'll also have another big old play with uh, the eyeliners and things like that. So make sure you are subscribed with bell notifications on so you don't miss any of that. <gasps> this is new. I have been curious about this and I have not seen enough online about this product. So this is a Magic Hydrator Mist for Radiant Skin. It sounds right up my street because, like I said, my skin is painfully dry like a lizard. But this apparently is to refresh and hydrate through the day. Now, it smells lovely. Now this is not a setting spray. This is a setting spray. This is the, the go-to Charlotte Tilbury setting spray that I would use on my face. So I'm gonna put this on half of my face now. It just stops makeup from budging. It's absolutely fantastic stuff. When we go on our Disney cruise on the Disney Dream at the end of August, which is coming up over on my Mummy Afford Does Disney channel. If you love Disney vlogs, then make sure you are subscribed over there because I've got Walt Disney World vlogs. I've got loads of Disney on Paris vlogs. I've got a cruise vlog series from when we sailed on the magic and now coming up, we'll be sailing on the dream 
Obviously wearing lots of lovely makeup, but doing all amazingly exciting Disney things too. This isn't actually designed to set makeup, but I gotta try it. Mmm, it's lovely. So this has got Radiant Rescue, Hyaluronic Acid, Matrix, and Niacinamide, and Japanese Kombu Extract. Those all sound very official and, and lovely. It's for radiance and revitalizing hydration, oxygenating skin energizer, smoother, younger looking skin, and pollution defense. So maybe you're supposed to spray your face with this to set your makeup, and then this to refresh your makeup through the day? I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to do some more research on this to figure out how I'm planning to use it, and I'll definitely report back in future vlogs. So hold six to eight inches away from your face, AM and PM before magic skincare and continue to spray all day for a skin boost. So this would be before magic cream. And then I guess, yes, it would be like a little pick me up, which actually would be ideal for like a really hot holiday, Disney parks kind of trip where you're feeling a bit uh, and you can oof, refresh and look all glowy again. Oh my goodness, there's something else in here. Ah, oh wow. It's a beach stick. Now these are a re-release, but I wasn't familiar with them the first time around. This is a lip and cheek product. Wow, look at the packaging. So this is like a quite on the go kind of product, ideal for holidays. And this is in the shade Las Salinas. So we're gonna put that here on my arm. It looks incredibly bright. However, if I do a stripe there and a stripe there, I reckon if we buff that in, it won't, look as alarming, here we go. I've already done my cheeks with the pink from, oh, there we go, actually look, buffed in. See, this is put directly on the skin, looks a little bit intimidating, but buffed in, that's nice. That would be perfect, actually. That's going in my handbag for a little quick and lip and cheeks. That's kind of, you could do it with your fingers as you're just touching up in the loos, you know? So maybe this won't be what I do my makeup with in the morning because I wanna use, all of these beautiful things. Maybe it will, I don't know, but definitely, you know, out and about, through the day, topping up with just a little bit of color. That is the perfect handbag product, especially since it's lips and cheek. Honestly, when I first saw that color, I was a little bit like, wow, that's gonna be too bright for me. But I think uh, just kind of buffed in a little bit, it's gorgeous. I have seen some people online saying that quite a good way to do it is to use the brush to take it off the stick with the brush. I know on the Charlotte Tilbury website, then they apply it directly onto the cheeks, but a lot of people have been doing this and then this. <gasps> oh my goodness, stop, stop. I found something else. <gasps> ah! Stop, there's another product. Stop. Oh, if this is a one of Charlotte Tilbury's luxury quads. I can't wait to take a look at this. This one is called Uptown Girl and <gasps> wow. So this is what they've used to make that gorgeous, kind of very bright but smoky eye for the Cinderella makeup. In fact, most of this stuff is used in that look for the Timeless Dreamer look. But the way the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows work, you've got a prime shade, an enhanced shade, a smoke shade, and a pop shade. So here we've got prime, which you put all over the lid, a an enhance for just kind of up and around here, and then a smoke for just in the inner corner, and then the pop. So let's try these. So this is the, I'm running out of space on my arm. This is Prime. Not sure how well you can see that on camera. This is Enhance. Where did I even put it? This is Enhance. Then we've got Smoke and now the pop shades are my absolute favorite. I'm not sure how well you can see that there, but basically if I just, there we go, if I just put it on the back of my hand, ah, there you go. The pop shades, you can literally just take your finger. The best way to do it is just put it just over your eyelid and it just works out so beautifully. So, oh, wow. Well, I've got to say, I am totally blown away, absolutely delighted with the Disney product. They do have one more thing actually, which I do need to tell you about. I've just realized it hasn't been included in here, uh, but that's fine because quite frankly, I've been spoiled rotten. But there is also a Disney 100 makeup bag, which is Charlotte Tilbury and Disney and it's got Tinkerbell on it. It's got beautiful sparkles on it. So if that is something you're interested in, I will also link that below. But oh, favorite product from all this. What am I going to pick? <sighs> Probably the magic cream because the packaging for that is just so stunning. And I can reuse that forever and ever and ever because I can just do the refills. You could refill it with whatever you wanted, but honestly, if you just clunk one of those in, it's like you've got a brand new one again. My second favorite item's gotta be these beauty light wands. 
I am gonna have be brave and have a play with the gold. I probably need a bit more um, of a tan first, but look how glisteny gorgeous. Bear in mind, I did powder here and here before we started, just a tiny bit. I didn't want to over powder in case um, I was lucky enough to get these and I could try them, but they're so easy to use. So those, probably in these two shades, the pink and the spotlight, but honestly, all of it's gorgeous. I can't wait to do an absolute full face of this. I think for that night out I've got coming out, I'm gonna do the full face. We're gonna recreate the Timeless Dreamer look and see how well I can do with pulling that off. So thank you so much for all your support. I wouldn't be sent any of this wonderful stuff if it wasn't for you guys watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all those YouTube -y things. There are some more get ready with me type videos on screen now, as well as a link to my Patreon, a QR code to scan to get to my planner store, and I'm gonna link my Disney channel so you can go over there and check that out. Thanks so much guys, Mwah. bye.